guys, let's go over some word problems for grade five, uh, hosted by grade1to6.com. So some keywords for addition that we all should know all together, add, combine. For subtraction, decreased by, difference, fewer, reduce, remain, and lost. Keywords for multiplication, times, triple, twice, double, increased by, multiplied by. Keywords for division, each group has equal sharing, percent, quotient of, ratio of, separated, and sharing something equally. Now I have a number and I divide it by 12. The answer is 2. What do you think my number was? If your answer was 24, well done. This is how you have to do it. Three steps. Let's go to the next one. A bus seats 48 people, no passenger out the stand, 12 people get off the bus. How many are left on? 48 minus 12, 36 people left on the bus. Next. Alex saved 50 pens a week for one year. How many pounds did he have? So that's 50 pens into 52, which will give you 2,600 pens. And 52, there are 52 weeks in one year. But then you have to convert it into pounds because that's the units. So you divide by 100 to get 26 pounds. Next question. Six people paid 84 for a ticket to a cinema. What was the cost of each ticket? And how much change did they get for 100 pounds? Let's see. Begin with 84 divided by 6 for the ticket. And that'll give us 14. And if you want to look for 100 change, 100 minus 84 is going to give you 16 pounds. Bingo! Petrol cost 78 per liter in the year 2001. How much would you have paid to fill a 5 liter can? Let's think about this. Seventy eight into 5 is going to give you 390p. Then convert it into pounds. That would give you 3.9 pounds. 124 ml of milk, another 421 ml is added. How much is in the milk? 124 plus 421 gives you 545 ml. Quick and fast. The next question is going to be. Where's it going to be? <laughs> Let's have a look. The school has 200 liters of soup. One cup holds 200 ml. How many students can have a cup of soup? Let's look at this. This is going to take a few steps. Don't be scared. They're just numbers, believe me. So what we're going to do is we first convert 200 liters to 200 ml, which is into 1,000. That will give you 200,000. Then you divide that by 200 to give you 1,000. Therefore, 1,000 students can have a cup of soup. Yay! Mom bought two kg of carrots. She used 750 grams. How many grams of carrot were left? Are we going to do this one? It's a conversion question yet again. Change the kg to grams and subtract the weight of the carrot used from it. Bingo! We have 1250. The next question we're going to look at is, drum roll please, a back can holds 800 and a half liters of water, a full jug holds half. How many water, how many jugs of water will it take to fill the can? So half we all know is 0 0.5, 8 and a half is 8.5, that's going to give you 17 jugs. Man, that's actually a lot, don't you think? 17 jug is like, oof, even I can't finish that much, believe me. 100 pages is the 400 pages book I finished, and I still have to reach the middle, which means how many more pages do I have left to read? First thing we're going to do is we're going to get to the middle. So 408 divided by 2 is going to give you the middle, which is 204. So now that we have 204 and we're on 100, so 204 minus 100 is... 102. The nine shelves on the book, five shelves hold 30, four of the shelves hold 40 books. How many books are there all together? It's a simple addition question, guys. Let's give it a shot. What do you think it's going to be? Five into 30 is going to give you 150. That's step one. So now that we have the total, we can see what's add or subtracted. So then four into 40, which is 160. At step three, now you have the totals. And therefore, you put all them together, which is going to give you 300 and something. I don't even see the answer. 
Think of a number, subtract 20, and divide by 5. The answer is 16. What do you guys think the number is? Think about it, think about it. Take a minute, think about it. The best way to put it is put an X instead of the question mark. That's going to help you remember better. So turn it around the other way, and then you get 16 to 5 in brackets, and that gives you 100. Yay. So I read a book on Monday, Tuesday you read 10 more, and then Monday you reach page 18. How many pages did you read on Monday? Did you even read a page on Monday? I'm asking you, my viewers out there. <laughs> Still on Monday is going to give you 80. And then what do we do? Someone tell me? Yes, we divide, and that gives us 35 pages. <laughs> That's your answer. Tom bought a pack of 40 chocolates. He ate one fourth of them on Monday. He ate one fourth of the remaining biscuits on Tuesday. God, that's a lot of biscuits. How many do you think he had left? Honestly, I don't even think he had any left. That must have been some really good chocolates. One four. One fourth of 48 is 12. That's step one. Step two is minus that. Subtract it by 30. And you get 36. And then one fourth of 36 is nine. So you have three different signs in three parts of the question. Shopping mall has multi-story car for 12 rows of car and 20 cars on each floor. Five floors. How many cars can the car park hold? Imagine you're going to buy something and you're going to spend all of your parents' money. How fast do you think you want them to park the car? <laughs> step one, 12 in the 20 is going to give you 240. What do you think is going to be step two? Correct, 240 into five. Even I don't know that. Someone help me. <laughs> Think of a number, subtract by 12, and divide by 2. The answer is 19. What do you think my number was? Let's put that question mark, something, something, and something. So once you have your line of all the numbers that you have, you'll get your answer. That's step one. You put down all the values you have. Step two, solve what you already have, which in this case would be 50. And then you have your answer. Let's see what this question is. Drum roll. Please. Rodney opened a packet of chocolates and found there was a dozen in the packet. He had bought four packets. How many think he'd have for eight friends? That's good. 12 into 4, 48. That's your step one right there. I bought six CD racks, six CD in each, 40 CDs. Each cost 5.99. How much would it all cost? I think you're getting this. I don't even have to narrate anymore, don't you think? That's good. Four would not fit. That's a very good point. You always have to mention that in the papers if you're writing your answers in. So step three would be three racks needed. In a school survey, a genre of books, of uh, books, 50 children in year five, half had fiction books, 10 children had autobiographies, seven had poetry. How many children have other genre of books? Well, this is a very, very boring question. Okay, anyways, we'll still do it. Half of 50 is 25. That's your step one. What's your going to be a step two? Correct. 25 minus 10 is going to give you a 15. Look at the question again if you're not understanding how you're getting this. Anyways, that was the questions we covered for today. And I really hope you liked the questions and they made you understand a lot of the concepts you're going to read for simple grade five maths. Log on to grade1to6.com for more of your famous worksheets, the worksheet specialists. Always best to do it from the pros. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.